Alrighty, in this morning's Environment Matters report, data shows climate change is posing a greater threat to our health than ever before. Mm -hmm. From heat-related illness to seasonal allergies, doctors are seeing a shift in risks and discovering new areas for concern. This is an actual image of what's happening to the Earth right now. <laughs> <laughs> a meteorologist Caitlin McGrath has more on the health-related impacts of climate change on our health. You're so much healthier than you were last week. You did not feel good. Mickey Carlisle suffers from allergies that now seem to flare up year round. It's a nonstop cough. It's it's almost choking sometimes and every now and again they do actually vomit. Mickey's grandmother and guardian moved to Alexandria in 2002 and has also noticed a significant shift in her seasonal allergies. I just don't remember it being this bad. Rising temperatures associated with climate change are the culprit, exacerbating existing health problems. It can't be ignored anymore. Samantha Adut is a pediatrician and chair of the Virginia Clinicians for Climate Change. Look up at the sky. Good job. Dr. Adut sees the impacts of our warming environment every day in her office. Oh, you're doing a great job. Allergies have always existed. Children have always gotten pollen allergies. But with warmer winters and higher concentrations of CO2 in the atmosphere, there's ample evidence now that pollen counts are rising. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the average length of the growing season in the contiguous 48 states has increased by more than two weeks since the beginning of the 28th century. And longer growing seasons mean longer allergy seasons. Mine have gotten so bad till um, I'm seeing a pulmonologist now. And the threats to our health stretch far beyond seasonal allergies. According to the World Health Organization, between 2030 and 2050, climate change is expected to cause additional deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, heat stress, and so much more. And there is a growing list of climate-sensitive health risks, like respiratory illness, waterborne diseases, vector-borne diseases, foodborne diseases, injury and mortality from extreme weather events, and very concerning to lawmakers in Virginia, heat-related illnesses. I'm having to counsel a lot of families that their kids shouldn't go outside because it's gotten very hot and often unsafe. As a member of the board of the Virginia chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics, Dr. Adut helped pass new legislation in Virginia that would help develop a heat illness protection program for young students and athletes. To learn more about this new legislation and how you can help keep your loved ones safe as we head into the hot summer months, just visit our WUSA 9 app or WUSA9.com and search climate. I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath, WUSA 9.